Hello, I am Dr. Rajiv Bhatia, an ENT surgeon from Delhi, India. This is the much requested English version of my popular headphone video. Unless otherwise specified, I am using headphones as a generic term for headphones, earphones and earbuds. First question is, can headphones cause hearing loss? Indeed they can. In fact, Noise-induced hearing loss is so common that October has been designated as the National Protect Your Hearing Month in United States of America. According to Center for Disease Control USA, one out of eight Americans in the age group of 6 to 19 years has already suffered permanent hearing damage due to excessive exposure to noise. And the figure is as high as 17% in adults. That means 1 out of 6. Second question. Will I ask you to stop using headphones? Certainly not. On the contrary, I will give you practical tips to reduce your risk of hearing loss. Loud sounds can damage the microscopic hair cells in the inner ear. The extent of damage to the hair cells is dependent upon three factors the loudness of sound the duration of sound and how many times does the exposure occur loudness of sound is measured in decibels sounds up to the level of 70 decibels are generally considered safe sounds of the level above 85 decibels are more likely to damage your hearing over time sound of a mixer grinder is approximately 85 decibels. Loudness of most personal electronic devices at 60% of volume is around 75 to 80 decibels. The problem is that it increases to 95 to 110 decibels if one listens with headphones at full volume. The more the decibels, lesser is the safe listening time. Why is noise-induced hearing loss so worrisome? First, it is permanent and irreversible. There is no cure as the inner ear hair cells of human beings do not regenerate. Second, it is cumulative. With repeated exposure, it keeps on increasing over time. Thirdly, it is hard to know if one's hearing is damaged until and unless that person undergoes a hearing test. According to CDC website, one out of four US adults who think they have excellent to good hearing already have hearing damage. It means that by the time you or those around you suspect your hearing loss, a significant number of your inner ear hair cells would already be damaged. In addition to hearing loss, Noise exposure can also lead to tinnitus, commonly described as ringing in the ears. In this condition, one hears noises which do not have any external source, sounds that no one near you can hear. Not everyone who experiences identical noise exposure will develop the same degree of hearing loss. But since it is impossible to identify the most susceptible individuals, prevention is the most effective strategy. Now, let's discuss safe listening tips. Using headphones is safer than using earbuds or earphones. Earbuds and earphones are closer to the eardrum. As a result, sound is about 6 to 9 decibel louder. Earphones do not block the outside sounds so well, so the users have a tendency to increase the volume. Do ensure that the tip of the earphone is not hard. Soft tips fit better and are able to block more of the outside sound. If you can afford it, it is best to go in for the noise cancellation headphones. Take steps to get the best stereo effects from your device and headphones so that you don't feel the need to increase the volume. Take care to insert the earphone marked R into your right ear 
and the one marked L into your left ear. Go to the settings of your music app and select the best quality that your internet connection can support. Alternatively, you can download best quality music and listen offline. Use the equalizer settings of your music app to adjust the frequencies to get the best sound effects as per your liking without increasing the volume. The volume while using the headphones should be such that no one else can hear and you have awareness of the sounds in your surroundings. Follow the 60-60 rule that is the volume of your device should not exceed 60% and you should limit the use of headphones to 60 minutes a day. Some of the popular media apps like VLC allow raising of the volume to 200%. So please be very careful while using these apps. If your device has an option to set a limit for volume, then do go into the settings and set up the maximum volume limit at a safe level. This tip is especially important for parents with small children. Sleeping with the headphones on is very risky. You can use the timer app to switch off the audio. This function is available in the clock app of iPhone and iPad. Android users can download a timer app from Play Store. Try not to use the headphones when you are alone. Instead, use the external speakers. Do like and share this video widely. Thank you.